Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if anybody comes back on here or not. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> coincidence, coincidence that I get booted off of Facebook uh, in this devotion. Uh, I tell you, <clears throat> it really is amazing to me to uh, see what uh, the devil does and uh, uh, that, sorry guys, that is not a coincidence uh, mm -hmm. that I got booted. Um, I'll be uh, curious to see if that uh, is even, if we're even able to post that. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> all right. I I wonder why I got booted off of there, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. I don't know. It uh Yeah, they tried. Hold on. There we go. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, we'll uh we'll see how that goes. Um I'll try to get it posted on on YouTube also. YouTube is as uh, 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 calming in their ideas as uh, Facebook, so uh, we we will see how that goes. So, yeah, that was my fault, guys. This last time I just froze up. That was my fault. I put it back on my Wi-Fi, so we'll see. But. Let's get into the the uh, devotion, and we'll see if my rant gets uh, posted later uh, on that. Um, they are quick. Uh, I think they have some kind of bots that watch, and and I think too that here lately I haven't had uh, near as many um, watchers here lately. I think they put me down at the bottom of the feed. I don't know how that works. You know you. Some some of you I think really have to look and search for me now, and I mean they're, they they like have like one billion people that are on Facebook, and they think that they need to squelch the the voice of someone who who maybe reaches out to a hundred and fifty people. You know I, I mean that that tells you how how Satan just doesn't want certain messages out there, and and he'll go after you doesn't matter how small you are and um but doesn't matter even if we get booted off of here forever the bible is the bible the bible stands we live according to it and that's it you know and leave it at that and it just really doesn't matter what culture says and it doesn't matter what some half a brain teenager posts on their facebook or or uh some presbyterian preacher or some uh, four square gospel preacher says it's all it, it's wrong and it always will be and and we need to stand according to the word of God and then sin is sin and sin is wrong and we need to get it out of our lives and and here David's heart smote him after he had numbered the people can I tell you if you're a genuine believer and and you are uh, uh, following God you will be convicted of your sin even carnal people will be convicted of their sin you, you you cannot have the Holy Spirit living in you and live in sin and not be convicted. It's just, that's the way it is. If you have no conviction over the a sinful lifestyle that you are living, you do not have the Holy Spirit of God. And so let us be careful and 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 sometimes work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Be honest with yourself and if you really don't care about the things of God and the things of God don't bother you and you live your life the way you want to live it and nothing bothers you about it, then you really got a problem. You don't have the Holy Spirit of God living in you. And so be careful with that. Well, here David's heart smote him after he'd numbered the people. And we all understand that. There have been times when our heart has been um, uh, uh, smote by God and, and we are convicted by those things and bothered by the things that we've done. And then this is what David does. And David said unto the Lord, I have sinned. Can I tell you, that's what confession is. And and who who did David go to? 
He went straight to God. Can I tell you, that's who you need to go to? You, you have the Holy Spirit of God. You have Jesus Christ who made the, uh, made the intercession when he died on that cross. And you can go directly to God with, with the problem that you have. And you need to confess it to God, just like David did. David said, oh, Lord, I have sinned greatly in that, in that I have done. And so whatever our sin is, and can I tell you, let's see if we can just get booted again. The, those who want to live in, the, in, in a sodomite lifestyle, you need to confess that to God. It is a sin, and it is wrong, and it's unbiblical, and it's not ever going to be right. And so get it right in your life. Just like if you're a liar, get it right. If you deal with pride, get it right. If you are dealing with, you know, you're a... You steal from people. Get it right. I, I, there's all kinds of, you have the wrong thoughts. You watch the wrong things, whatever. Uh, you're an adulterer. Or you're, you're coveting or you're um, committing fornication. Get it right with God, okay? That's what we need to do. And, and here, you need to admit to God, you sin greatly, and we do. And, and here, we're not talking about David, who's an unsaved man, David's on his way to heaven, and here he confesses to God. Same way in our lives today. Confess it to God and get it right. And then he says, O Lord, take away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. And that's exactly what, what we need to do. And, and let's get it right in our lives and, and, and then move on. And praise the Lord, when, when we confess it to God like that, with a sincere heart, he forgives us. And he dismisses it and he forgets it. Boy, how good is that? And how thankful we ought to be. And, and so those that want to live in these uh, alternate lifestyles, you need to get things right in your life. And God will forgive you. And, and so do we. And, and we still love you, but you got to get it right. And, and you want to, Facebook wants to boot me off again? So be it. I, I hate the devil. I, I do. And, uh, Everybody trying to, to, I don't know, shut you up and, and shut God up. They're never going to get it done, okay? And then look at this in verse 24 of Second Samuel 24 here at the end. And David then has to go and, and, he, and he buys a threshing floor and he makes a sacrifice to God, right? And, and because of his sin. And the guy that owned the place, he said, David, just take it. And David said, I'm not going to do that. And, and this is what he says. And he said, here, I got oxen, I got everything. You just take it and use it, do what you need to. And, and the king said unto uh, Arunah, nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price. Neither will I offer burnt offerings unto the Lord my God of that which doth cost me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for 50 shekels of silver. And David built there an altar unto the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord was entreated for the land and the plague was stayed from Israel. You know, the, the true confession and repentance costs something. And, and it means that you're, you turn away from those things that you're doing. And, uh, and, and look, you, you keep doing battle with that. And, and you keep turning away from that junk. And if you, you stumble, even the righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up, right? You, you confess it, repent of it, get it right. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I have a hard time with those that say that if you fall to that same sin again, you just don't love God enough. I, I don't, I don't, don't agree with that statement at all. I, I don't. And, and I think it's trying to drive people into a, a guilt-driven response and a manipulation and be careful with that. And so, um, but I'm not saying you ought to be happy and living in your sin either. Don't do that, but do battle with it. And if you do fall, get back up and confess it to God, just like we saw in verse 10 and, and get it right with God and then move forward and keep living for God and do that the rest of your life. Do the battle and, and stay in the battle and don't quit and don't give up. And, and, and can I tell you, you just keep looking to God for mercy. Look at this in Psalm 123. He says here, Unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants, 
Look into the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden under the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until that he have mercy upon us. Now, in our own lives, look to God for mercy. Look to him and have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. And so here, and, and, and here, but you know what David, as he writes this, he's asking mercy from God for him and then mercy on the others. And, you know, we, we can walk around and point our fingers at everybody else and the problems they have and, and asking God to show them mercy. But we sometimes forget that we're just as bad as they are. <laughs> get it right in your life and then move on right and 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 then the last thing that i have is is we do need to be careful what we say and how we say it in in uh, proverbs 16 verse 23 the heart of the wise teacheth his mouth and addeth learning to his lips the heart of the wise teacheth his mouth, and addeth learning to his lips. Be careful what we say. But I think there are still things that need to be said. I, I don't think that, I, I know that I wasn't wrong in the things that I said this morning. And I, I guarantee you Facebook booted me off. They, they did it. Their little bots or whatever heard me uh, in a negative aspect dealing with this wonderful month that they promote. And so they boot you off. And if I was vulgar, if I was mean about it, so be it. But I wasn't, and that's what I'm saying. We we need to uh, we need to stand according to the word. We need to to teach it according to what God's word says. We need to live it. We need to love people, but we also need to stand against sin. We need to hate it in our lives, and we need to hate it in the lives of others. And and acceptance is ungodly, unbiblical, and 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 truly is is going to destroy um, your life in doing that. And so let's stand. Let's uh, be strong and firm in our walk, in our belief. Let's uh, encourage others to be what they need to be. Let's tell people about Jesus. And let's show them what the love of Christ is about, what the mercy of God is about, and watch God do something great. So... Hang in there, guys. A little Got a little bit distracted there, but we're okay, right? The devil obviously wasn't liking this one, was he? <laughs> That's all right. All right, guys. Hey, God bless you. Let's have a great day. Tonight at church is a family night, and so we will, we're going to have hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, chips. If you want to bring some kind of dessert, bring a dessert. We'll have our famous kickball uh, game tonight if if we have enough. You know what? And if the teens are too busy cleaning out the bus, the rest of us old people will just sit around and talk and enjoy the fellowship. <laughs> and we won't play kickball, which is fine with me. So, but it'll be a great time and uh, enjoyable time of fellowship. So, uh, and a time of prayer, obviously. We don't give up that. And, uh, but come on out tonight, and I know that your heart will be blessed tonight. So God bless you. Let's get out there. Do something for God today. And uh, Lord willing, be back on here tomorrow.